undervalued altcoins with big partners. That is what we are looking into today. There are always opportunities like this during a bull run. And if you can spot them before the market catches on, get ready to make some bankity bank. Our eyes are sharp. We are ready to find those altcoins with enterprise partners. So are you ready? Because it's time for Chico Crypto. Trying to find the partners of the big enterprise announcements of crypto isn't easy unless you're specifically told those partners in a press release. To do this, you have to dig. You have to sift through a ton of information. So get ready to sift because I've been covering BlackRock and Securitize's tokenized fund consistently over the past week since it was announced because it's lit a fire under a sector of crypto I've been bullish on for years, RWAs. And I really want to go deeper into this because there's more. Yesterday, I found Ondo Finance is likely involved with this and they are direct partners of BlackRock. Then last week, I found Centrifuge could also be involved as they are direct partners of Securitize, whose goal together was to connect tokenized securities to DeFi. Well, I'm not done. I'm almost certain I found another crypto connected to this. So let's begin that Chico deep dive. Checking out the Coindesk article on the BlackRock tokenized fund, we can see the article says, Observers pointed to blockchain data showing 100 million of Circle's USDC stablecoin on the Ethereum network was moved to an address related to a securitized deployer, which could potentially be a seed investment into the fund. USDC is highly important as the stablecoin is being used as the fund's currency. It's the stablecoin that will seed the fund. Investors will use it to to invest in the fund, and it will be used as the rails to cash out of the fund. This is not only confirmed by that seed deposit, but also by this Coinbase institutional tweet. They tweeted, We are excited to announce that Coinbase has been chosen as a key infrastructure provider for BlackRock and Securitized Tokenized Investment Fund. Coinbase institutional is the key infrastructure provider. Now, if you didn't know, one of the institutional solutions from Coinbase is their USDC stable coin. Why is this USDC so important? Well, if you didn't know, Coinbase is one of the creators of USDC. The other is the company Circle. So to make these connections and do the digging we need to do, we need to uncover another crypto technology besides Centrifuge that Securitize has been utilizing for their own tokenization efforts. Last year, Securitize announced a tokenized product of theirs, Hamilton Lane's Direct Equity Fund. It went multi-chain. They opened investment and trading of the crypto fund on the Ethereum Layer 2 Polygon. Securitize is obviously bullish on going multi-chain. I wouldn't doubt that the BlackRock tokenized fund will also be multi-chain, as the Ethereum main chain fees are too high and would give these investors not the opportunity they need, the opportunity to invest and trade with lower fees on Ethereum EVM chains and Layer 2s that are cheaper. Now that we understand Securitize is going multi-chain, which likely means BlackRock's fund will too, we need to get back to the stablecoin of the fund, USDC. So guess who has the technology to make the USDC stablecoin go multi-chain? Circle does, called the Circle Cross-Chain Transfer Protocol. That is a permissionless on-chain utility that facilitates USDC transfers securely between blockchains via native burning and minting. And of course, one of those blockchains is Polygon. Although, guess who helped Circle develop this technology, giving USDC that ability to go multi-chain? Well, if you didn't know, Circle announced their cross-chain protocol all the way back in September of 2022. 
Well, shortly after that announcement, Circle announced the partners of this cross-chain system, which would enable it to function seamlessly. In October of 2022, Circle released this blog, Composable USDC, Seamless UX in the Multi-Chain World, and the article states, Circle has announced the cross-chain transfer protocol and Axler adds general message passing to Circle's protocol. Together, Axelar and Circle plan to enable composable USDC. Developers compose one-click multi-chain experiences, incorporating native USDC and function calls to any dApp on any connected chain. It continues, together, CCTP and GMP allows developers to pass payloads atomically with native cross-chain USDC transfers. This makes it possible to create cross-chain dApps that are totally seamless and universal, bridging USDC and users into every supported ecosystem. Users will be able to issue a single transaction with a GMP payload, and on the back end, the application takes care of the bridging and any other action that the user indicated in the payload. Obviously, GMP from Axlar is critical to the function of Circle's cross-chain protocol. It's a key component. But now, how would Axlar connect back to BlackRock? Well, as we know, Ondo Finance is highly likely connected to BlackRock, with many people like myself theorizing they are involved with the tokenized fund. So, guess who is utilizing Axler's GMP and Circle's CCTP? Of course, Ondo is, announced in November of last year. The release title reads, Ondo Finance and Axelar integrate for cross-chain tokenized secure notes, taking native stablecoins and RWAs cross-chain with a solution inspired by Circle CCTP. Yeah, Ondo created a bridge for the transfer of RWA assets. And as we can see from the documentation on the Ondo bridge, they say, our bridge implementation will rely on Axler as the messaging layer. Axler seems to be a key component for partners of the BlackRock tokenized fund. But let me tell you, the enterprise partners of Axler continue with more big names. But before we get into those, it's time for a short sponsored segment of this video brought to you by Shezmu. And like always, the full details of our agreement can be found in the description. Shezmu is blockchain's first hybrid isolated lending market supporting ERC-20, ERC-721, and ERC-1155 assets. With a cross-chain DEX for these assets and being the pioneers of the Supply Elastic NFT Phi model, Shazmu provides users an array of options to earn insane yields we haven't seen since the early days of the DeFi summer from a few years ago. Shazmu is built with the goal of innovation and efficiency, redefining DeFi with a novel approach to maximizing rewards and earnings. Shazmu burst onto the scene late last year after raising 75 ETH and then immediately burned 95% of their total token supply, creating an initial supply shock. The Shesmu team understood that out of control inflation was a major issue with similar projects of the past when they handed out aggressive token rewards. Therefore, they set out to mitigate this risk of hyperinflation to counterbalance and control the inflationary pressure that massive rewards create. Which is great news for those of us who like to earn huge yields on our crypto while not being at the whim of inflation. They took another Another step to add deflationary pressure to their tokens via the Guardian NFTs, the backbone of the community. These unique NFTs generate rewards split into six unique categories, each offering different rewards. One Guardian is equal to 12 Shesmu, and each Guardian owner receives daily compounding Shesmu-based rewards along with USDC rewards for their loyalty. 
Also, Shesmu introduced LP bonding called Agora that permits users to allocate crypto into liquidity pools. And for their efforts, they're compensated with options to purchase Shesmu below market prices. This is available via USDC that can be supplied either externally or can be allocated from the Guardian's rewards. And through Nile, Shesmu's native crypto on-ramp, users can acquire Shesmu directly through credit cards, bank transfers, and various cross-chain methods, streamlining interactions with Shesmu's multiple offerings. Shesmu stands at the forefront of NFT and DeFi collateralized debt position protocols, proudly introducing its flagship product, Oasis, the first hybrid lending market. Oasis is a groundbreaking platform, revolutionizing the DeFi landscape with its unique approach to lending that supports a diverse range of digital assets, including ERC-20, ERC-721, and ERC-1155 non-fungible tokens. They have lending pools for popular NFT collections like Bored Apes and Pudgy Penguins, and of course, Shesmu Guardians. And Oasis is distinguished by its isolated market structure, allowing each market and asset class to operate with its own LTV ratios and interest rates. This innovative design enables Oasis to cater to a wide variety of digital assets, offering a flexible and user-centric lending experience. Oasis is the first and only hybrid collateral lending platform which supports this many token standards, empowering users the flexibility to use any asset they choose, representing a progressive strategy integrating DeFi and NFTs. The future of DeFi incentive models hinges on their adaptability, innovation, and alignment with user needs and market trends. Platforms such as Oasis by Shesmu are pioneering a shift towards a more inclusive, dynamic, and user-focused DeFi environment. So to learn more and start earning insane yield rewards, make sure to visit their website and follow their X account, and join their Telegram to jump in on the conversations and get your questions answered. Links for everything Shesmu are below. Now back to Axler's other big enterprise partners. Back in November of last year, besides Axler collaborating with Ondo, they made some big waves in the RWA enterprise space. From this Business Wire press release, we can see it says, Axler Inc., Oasis Pro, and Provenance Blockchain have collaborated with Onyx by JP Morgan and Apollo under the monetary authority of Singapore's Project Guardian. Axler partnered with JP Morgan, the asset manager Apollo, who's coming up on managing $1 trillion in assets, and also the Singapore government's monetary authority. Now, JP Morgan even has a full report on this collaboration effort, and on page 19, we can see that Axler is being used for cross chain messaging. And then lower down on page 40, under implementation of proof of concept, they say to enable cross chain messaging, Axler deployed smart contracts known as gateways on Onyx digital assets and the Provenance blockchain. But the partnerships with Axler just keep on continuing. They have partnered with Microsoft in July of last year to develop Web3 products with further plans to connect public and private blockchains that use OpenAI services to create Web3 products. And then just before this in April, Axler was one of the six Web3 companies to be chosen by MasterCard in their Start Path program. With Axler being out of the top 100 coins by market cap, I see their involvement with these big enterprise players as a major opportunity. This is coin I'm going to accumulate and hodl for a long time. They're not going anywhere. Cheers, I'll see you next time. The most trustless name in